Do your cities always look like that? Your habitats like this? Your Sims 4 builds like this? Or are your coasters actually like that? Well then you might consider playing Rollercoaster Tycoon World, because everything looks bad in that game anyways. Or you can watch this video where I give you some tips how to become better in creative games. And actually, don't play Rollercoaster Tycoon World. Just don't. No, seriously. Instead, follow these seven simple steps and I guarantee you, your builds will soon look like this, this or this. Alright, let's get going. Number one and number uno is passion. Find your passion. Whether it's building fences, pathways, small houses, big houses, it doesn't matter. Try to find what you have your biggest passion about. Because that is the most simple way to have the strength to keep on going. To go deeper and deeper and educate yourself to build more. It doesn't matter what it is. Just find your very specific passion. And I guarantee you it's much more simple to start over there and start learning how to be better at this very thing. Great, if you've done that, tip number two comes in very handy, tutorials. Because you can't be good at anything and you can't have passion about anything. Here is where the tutorials come in. Don't fear, just type it into YouTube or your desired platform and you're gonna find some brilliant tutorials of other people who already had the same struggle that you have. Now, fix your problems by following these easy tutorials you'll find online and I guarantee you, you'll be better at no time. All right, that's done. You got your passion and you found some good tutorials. Next up is copy-paste. Well, yes, it's like in school, you know? You take what others do good and you copy that and by doing so, you'll learn yourself. I mean, not saying that copying in school is good, but you know, copying things has the good effect of learning how to do certain things step by step. So it's actually not a big deal to steal other people's stuff only for learning purpose only, so that's fine. And then just disassemble that, have a look how other people did their work and go from there. Fun fact, this is the very thing how we all grew up. As a kid, the only thing you do is copy-paste what your parents do or the people you see each and every day. It's the simplest and most natural way to learn. Just keep that in mind, okay? Alright, that's done as well. So you've got your passion, you've got tutorials and you know how other people build their stuff. Now it's time for your stuff to shine and this is where inspiration comes in. Because nobody is good at creating stuff from a blank space. And here comes a lot of good stuff with different platforms. Use YouTube, Pinterest, Instagram or whatever you want to find inspiration for what you want to build. You want to build a cozy little hut in the northern sphere? Well, then just go and Google for some Norwegian little cottage house. You can do whatever you want, but just find yourself some inspiration. It is not important how much or what quality it is of. Make sure that it is exactly what you had in your mind, because no one else can look into your mind other than you yourself. So find these images that help you to shape the visual of what you want to do, because then you've got a clear idea in your mind. Okay, fine, you've got your idea, you've got the passion, the tutorials and everything, and now it's time to kill the project and kill your babies. Not literally though, but it's very important every now and then to step away from things that you have maybe invested a lot of time in, but that just don't feel right. So I'm not saying to kill every project, but if there is a project, even after these four steps that doesn't feel right, you might want to consider doing something else instead just to go on, because sometimes it just feels very hard and very forced to go a certain path. And if you feel like this is not the right one, you have to step back and try again, try again. It's inevitable to have a failure at some point, and so you just want to make, consider a new plan and just go from there. That's easy, but sometimes it really hurts if you have a great idea and you feel like, unfortunately, this is not gonna be continued. So, be brave, kill your babies, and then go on. Alrighty, let's imagine you haven't killed your baby because it was a good one, you know? You've done all the first steps. Remember the first one, by the way? It was passion. Then you have checked some tutorials, copy-paste action, you search for inspiration, and you figured you don't need to kill the project because it's just too good. Or is it? Now this is where feedback comes in handy. And many people fear feedback because they could hear something negative. But sometimes it's very important to see other people's opinion because they give you some spotlight on certain things that you might not see because you're so invested into your own project and so you don't see things to your left and to your right. Type it down into your Discord channel, bring a screenshot to your friends or just ask other people online what they think about what you've created. They will give you feedback and 
yes, there might be some negative feedback about it, but even if you get some negative feedback, make sure to keep on asking, ask them what is exactly the problem with it, so you will better understand what they would change, because at the end of the day, you want to be proud of what you're showing and showcasing, so other people will appreciate that even more if you have uh, embraced their feedback. So make sure to search for feedback. All right, number seven, and seven is my favorite number. This is the sole reason why we have a seven point in here. I'm joking, by the way, but I've got fun, and that's this. Fun is the most essential thing, being creative. There is no clue in the world and no hint and no tip in the world that will make you creative instantly. It's just not possible. But one thing is a guaranteed kind of driver and force making it uh, a lot more likely to have ideas and to be creative and that is having fun so if you ever feel like not having fun doing what you're doing except it's your job and you have to well that's a different deal though but it's a game and you want to create something and you don't feel like it's fun you better stop for the moment, okay? So make sure to be in a positive mood, to be in a creative mood, to be in a mood where you want to create stuff. Then things might come in way more easy. So as I said, when you kill your babies, that might be A, because you know the, the project you had might have been a little bit too big for the moment, or it could also be that you don't have enough fun anymore doing so, and this is kind of hindering you from finding an even better vibe into going on. So it is very important to try to really have fun doing the stuff you want to do. If you play your game of your desire, whether it's City Skyline, Sims 4, Planet Zoo, Planet Coaster, Prehistoric Kingdom, you name it, or every other city player game, it is very important to focus on enjoying what you do. Because at the end of the day, this is what we humans love the most about games, and that is having fun. That's that, and now let's make a little conclusion. Awesome! You can now create a lot more better and creative games. And if you like the video, you can help me create even more crazy stuff for you guys and also making videos like that for you way more often in the future. If you want to see other tips and tricks how to be more creative in various games or just in general or in specific games, check out my other how-to and tutorial videos to your top right. And if you like the video and want to help me out grow the channel to reach even more people with the tips and tricks, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That would make my day a lot more better. And now I wish all of you a pleasant and totally great time. Stay safe and goodbye.